We've got another softball all-time lineup for you guys, and this time it's for the Oklahoma Sooners. I'm Michaela Chester for NCAA.com, and let's break down the best players in Sooners history. Again, there is way too many, especially for a team that has had a ton of recent success. Let's start at first base with the home run queen. Lauren Chamberlain still stands as the all-time NCAA career home run leader with 95 round trippers and a 960 slugging percentage. That leads Oklahoma by a landslide. She also leads in runs scored, total bases, and RBIs. Chamberlain was named to the 2013 and 2012 Women's College World Series All-Tournament team and was a three-time first-team All-American. At second, I had a tough choice between Amber Flores and Kaylee Clifton, but Flores takes the spot on this all-time lineup and for good reason. The three-time All-American finished her career with a 369 batting average and 56 home runs, which ranks fourth all-time at Oklahoma. She was also a three-time finalist for USA Softball's Collegiate Player of the Year. Who's at third base? None other than Sydney Romero, who not so long ago was in that Sooner uniform and dominating college softball. Romero's name floods OU's all-time records, and she leads all Sooners in career at bats and career doubles, and is second all-time in hits with 320, fifth in batting average, runs scored, and home runs. Oklahoma softball has been a dominant force in recent years. Runner-ups last year and two titles in 2016 and 2017. Romero was a huge part of that. She led the nation in 2019 in total bases, led the team in average hits, home runs, RBIs, you name it. She was a no-doubter. Moving on to shortstop, Shelby Penley, who is second all-time at Oklahoma in home runs with 65. Another outstanding player in Oklahoma lore. Penley could play just about anywhere in the infield and even spent some time in the circle. But she led the team her senior season in batting average hits, homers, RBIs, and total bases as a shortstop. She was a Big 12 Player of the Year and is second in career batting average at Oklahoma. She hit 430 and 413 in her final two seasons. Behind the plate, there were some great options as well. Jessica Schultz, Heather Scaglione, Ashley Barrett, they all deserve a shout out. I went with Jessica Schultz here, who finished third all-time in homers at Oklahoma. Schultz was a 2012 NFCA Diamond Catcher of the Year. At Utility, I went back and forth between Lisa Carey, who led the Sooners to their first national title, and Shay Knighton, who helped lead the Sooners to their last two national titles. Jocelyn Alo will be knocking pretty soon as well when she finishes, but you can't go wrong with these options. I went with Knighton, and they don't call her big play Shay for nothing. She was the most outstanding player in the Women's College World Series in 2017 and had oh so many big play moments in those recent Women's College World Series trips. Let's move over to the outfield and start with Norrell Dixon, who leads all Oklahoma players in batting average with 402, hits with 328, and stolen bases with 110. The lefty slapper put together a phenomenal career at OU, racking up those honors and records. Next, we'll have Kristen Vesely, a USA Player of the Year semifinalist, who had a 73-game airless streak stretching from her junior to senior season. She is third in career hits with 293 and a complete athlete, considering she competed on Oklahoma's soccer team all four years as well. Our last outfielder is Christy Ring. Ring is second all-time in stolen bases with 86 in her career. She still ranks fifth in career hits and sixth in runs scored. We need this kind of speed on an all-time roster. And finally, in the circle, we've got two unbelievable arms. Kaylani Ricketts was an insane talent. She won the Honda Award back-to-back -back in 2012 and 2013, and then went on to take the Honda Broderick Cup for the best collegiate female athlete in 2013. She became one of the most prolific pitchers in Women's College World Series history. She was setting records each year, then breaking them the next. Ricketts finished her career with 1,605 strikeouts, and offensively, she had 50 home runs as well in her career. That Player of the Year honor sounds about right. Our second pitcher is Paige Parker, who took home those last two Oklahoma titles and most outstanding player at the Women's College World Series in 2016. She has the second most wins at OU history behind Ricketts, and she sent 968 batters back to the dugout in her career and took home a few awards as well, including NFCA Freshman of the Year, Big 12 Pitcher of the Year, and three Women's College World Series All-Tournament teams. That about wraps it up. Let us know who would be on your Oklahoma all-time roster. And keep up with the Sooners on NCAA.com and NCAA Softball Social.